Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm going to talk just about IMATS for a few minutes. Hopefully you have already seen my vlog, well not really a vlog, I didn't really walk around talking to the camera, but my video showing footage of IMATS and just how incredible it was, how cool it was, just it was so busy, it was actually kind of overwhelming because you walk in and there is makeup everywhere and there are people everywhere and it's kind of like you have to quickly make up your mind, which is not something I'm good at and so it impulse buys like to the max. I tried to go in there kind of with a plan but even still it's really difficult and definitely go with a budget. I did because if you don't blah in like the first 30 minutes I had spent like a hundred pounds or something so and then the rest of the time I was like okay I'm gonna slow down and watching the shows and stuff so anyways really really cool really great experience can't wait till next year yeah okay Enough about that, I'm going to just kind of jump into the haul because I don't want this to be crazy long. Alright, so, um, they're not really in any particular order, but it happens to be that the first place I went is on the top of the pile. Um, I went to NARS, and it's really cool. I don't think NARS is actually at the New York or the LA I'm at, but it is at the London one, which is really cool. And they have a bunch of sets for really, really good prices. Like, I don't think they actually have their normal line even there. For iMats. I mean, they have it for display, but I don't think they sell it at iMats. But they put a bunch of things in the packages, and I was planning on getting a lot more, but I don't know. I had a hard time actually finding one that I wanted, which is kind of weird. But I did want a multiple. I knew I wanted one of these, and um, by themselves, they were. I'm not sure if they were marked as 9 something or if they were marked as 18 something, but for this, the multiple plus um, the oil, which is called the. Uh, body glow, uh, body glow oil. It was only 15 pounds, which is really good. Um, and I know these are like high 30s, low 40s in the states uh, in dollars. So I got this one in South Beach, and I think this one is going to be actually a really, really nice highlight for deeper skin tones. And I actually have a lot of highlights for light skin tones, but I don't really have a ton in the way of especially a shimmery highlight for a deeper skin tone. So it looks like that. It's really, really shimmery. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry if you can't. But it is really, really shimmery. Um, but yeah, I think that would look really, really pretty on someone who had darker skin than me. But I might put it, try it on my cheeks and do kind of like a, a really pretty summery bronzy look. I think that would look really pretty. And then, yeah, it's got this oil in it which it says you can use like a, mo a moisturizer or you can put it in the bath and a bunch of different things. It's a cute little bottle and it smells like uh, coconut oil. So it smells pretty good and that's pretty cool. And, and again, like I said, this was only 15 pounds. So that's really good and that's actually the only thing that I got from NARS which is crazy. Okay, right, um, not the next place I went but moving on. Um, I did go to Nigel's Emporium. Oh, and I actually only picked up one thing there. I had a bunch of different stuff. I went back like two or three times to look at stuff, but I only ended up buying the Z palette, which, believe it or not, I don't have one because I don't actually like depotting things. I like them to be in their original packaging. Um, but I, which you'll see in a little while, I went to Inglot, but I don't like their freedom system. I don't like the packaging of the palette. Uh, the way the magnets are, they're really, really strong in, like, the corners and whatnot. And I can just see me hurting myself or someone else or considering that the top completely comes off, I can see myself losing that. So I wanted to be able to put them into a Z palette, and it's pink. And this was £13, and a bunch of different places sold these, and they were all around £13. I think there were some that were more for, like, 12 something or whatever, but I was all around this, so... That's not bad. That might be slightly more than you can get it in the States, because I think in the States you get it for about 20 bucks. So it's a little more than it would be in the States, but I wanted one and I wanted it then. So there you go. So we put that away and move right along. Okay, I went, again, this was later in the day, but they didn't have an actual Sigma booth, but I stumbled in the back, like kind of hidden. There was this booth and it was Beauty Bee Cosmetics, and they had like a bunch of Sigma stuff. So I only got one thing from there and it did come with um, lots of papers and pamphlets 
and it had, I, I got a free sample of some of their blushes, it's just on the card things, but I bought one brush, it's the only brush I actually bought for myself in all of iMats, and this is the Sigma Precision Tapered P86, so yes, it's just like that, it's beautiful, I'm going to use it I think for under eye concealer, for, um, and also powder and setting that, so yeah, it's really soft, it's pretty dense if you can tell. I think that'll be pretty good for blending in powders and things. Please forgive the way I look. It's been a really long day. A great day, but a really, really long day. Um, so yeah, that was, um, I think, £12.95. So again, I think it's pretty compatible to the US prices. I don't know if there's really any discount, because I don't know what these normally go for in pounds. I don't even know if you can get them in the UK unless you order them from uh, the Sigma website, but I thought that was a pretty good price and I wanted it, so there you go. Let's move on. Okay, um, I don't have a bag. I got this and I don't actually know from which booth. It was one of the special effects booths, but I really have been interested lately in special effects and I don't know how you can go to IMATS and see all the amazing things that they do and not be inspired to try special effects makeup. But I just got a little kit here. Um, you mix together uh, the A and the B equal parts, and it's going to create it where it goes, um, makes like cuts and scars and things like that, and then you fill it with the blood part, and yeah, I don't know. It's just a little bit, so it's called the Form Gel Silicone Sculpting Material Kit. So if you saw my zombie video, it's going to be kind of like what I did with the, um, the, the glue, uh, glue stick, so something like that, and I thought it'd be fun. I'm just going to give that a, give that a whirl. I'm excited about that. Um, I also, <laughs> probably not, not everywhere gave me a bag, which I kind of wish they did because it would be all together, but I got this. All right, I went to Beauty So Clean, which I've been wanting to try out forever, and I think where I tried to buy it from, like, they wouldn't ship it overseas. So, anyways, they had their booth there, and that was exciting. This is the uh, Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist, which, if you don't know about Beauty So Clean, what it is, is it's a sanitizing spray for your makeup. Uh, not, so, not only can you keep your brushes clean, but uh, you can keep any powder and also creams and stuff like that. You can keep it all clean and sanitized, which is nice. One, if you're a makeup artist and you're doing makeup on several different people, so you can keep everything sanitized. Also, if um, just your own makeup, it grows bacteria and it makes it, it either get that like film on the top or the, the grossness on the top, or if you get dog hair in it, you can wipe it off, or whatever, uh, you can use this to keep everything clean. Um, so this, um, the lady showed me, and it really doesn't affect the top of it, like alcohol can kind of ruin the texture of your makeup if you use that, so I've never been a big fan of that, but until I got this, that's what I had to use. Um, so you one spray, and supposedly it is sanitized, and yeah, there you go. So that's pretty cool. I got this bottle. It said, uh, the lady said that in the States it goes for $15. Um, in the UK it goes for £15, but they had it on sale for £5 for this bottle, and it is 4 ounces, 4 fluid ounces. So that's pretty cool. And then I got 200 cosmetic sanitizer wipes. So you can use this for eyeliner pencils, mascara wands, lipstick, lip gloss, um, any cream um, in a pan or anything like that anything like that, and it's just, um, well, the box. I don't think it wants to open. There we go. It's just little wipes, kind of like a wet wipe kind of thing, and you can just wipe it on down, and I think I'm good for a while on these. So that's really excited, and this one was, uh, the box here was 15 pounds for all of these eh, for 200 wipes. So I thought that was pretty darn good. I don't know what this one retails for. It might have said, I think maybe it retails for like 20 pounds or something. I don't know. I think that could be wrong. And then there was a coupon for Beauty So Clean if you took it to the booth. Uh, with the purchase, you could get the little one, which is the same as this one. This is just one that you can keep in your purse or like if you go to stores and you like to swatch the makeup and you want to you know, not get everybody else's germs, you can just spray it down real quick before you swatch it so that's not gross. So uh, that's cool and that was free and I think they said this is like, I don't know, the coupon said it was like a 10 pound value. I don't know, but that's cool and it was free. Okay, moving on. Okay, um, 
where is this? Oh, I did go to NYX. It was actually the last store I went to. Um, it was quite picked over. But I did get a few things. Sorry, loud noises. Alright, so I did get a few things. Um, I went to the smaller NYX booth. There was a huge NYX booth and, like, the line was ridiculous all day long. And I was like, no, not happening. I can order online and get US prices. That's not a big deal. But then they had a smaller one which had, um, less of a selection. But it's, I noticed that they did have pretty good prices and, um, that one didn't really have a big line. So I picked up a few things. Oh, I got this lip pencil. It is, um, in dark brown. And I didn't have a dark brown lip pencil, and I thought that would be good. So, there you go. This was 50 pence. Right? So I had to pick it up. I didn't really have a choice. That's how I look at it. Um, I got another jumbo eye pencil, and I got it in 614 lavender. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't taken any of the plastic off, because I wanted to keep it pristine for this vlog. But, and I'll see the error in my ways. Okay, and I'm done finding the packaging. Okay, there we go. See, it's purple and it's pretty and I can use it for, can you see that? Well, anyways, you can use it for an eye base and I got some other purple things I'll show you in a minute. So I thought this would make a nice base for those. Um, speaking of those things, I got these Ultra Pearl Mania and I got them in three colors. They're little loose, um, loose pigments and they're pearlized. And I got them in lilac pearl which is the one that i think that'll look really pretty with that um pencil i got um silver pearl and i got baby pink pearl i'm not crazy about loose pigments and stuff like that because honestly i think they're pretty messy um but i don't know i thought i could have some fun with these and that especially like these two together i thought would make really really pretty girly look i don't know try those out see what i think um and oh these were I think all of these things, these were a pound each actually. The pearlized things were a pound each and the pencil, uh, jumbo lip eye pencil was uh, 150 And then I got two lip glosses and they were also 150 each, uh, 150 pounds. And they're originally I think three something, so just to compare. I got this one in the color um, Sunshine, which looks kind of weird, but I think over um, certain um, lipsticks. It'll look really nice. It's kind of like sunshine yellow color. And then I got this one, which is in a, a trendy, and it's like a dark mauvey purple kind of color. And I think that's really pretty. So, um, yeah, I got all of this, all of this for eight pounds from NYX. Definitely a good deal. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that purchase. Moving on. Okay, what else did I buy? Um, oh, uh, I got a couple of brushes from Crown Brush. I didn't get them from me. I got them from a friend. She is um, new to makeup and stuff like that and doesn't have any brushes. And these were things that she specifically said she needed and wanted to try out. But I'd show you. Thought I'd show you. Um, she wanted a spoolie for brows. That sort of thing. There you go. It was uh, two pounds. Actually, all these were two pounds, each one. Uh, she needed a small, um, a small angle brush. And I chose to get her the synthetic fiber one because you can use it for cream or powder. And I think for what she's mentioned she wants it for, um, I think is cream, so. And then she needed a um, nice eyeshadow brush, so I got her this uh, large shader, large flat shader brush. And none of them have names or anything on it, so there you go. That one. So, yeah, just picked those up for friends. So, some little crown brushes, great starter brushes if you don't have, you know, if you're not used to using brushes, if you're just getting started, just trying them out, looking for something inexpensive, good starter brushes. All right, um, then we have, oh, Mehran, and I only picked up one thing here, and that was, I got some banana powder, because who doesn't need banana powder? And I'm going to put this in my kit, because it's good powder, it works on a lot of different skin tones, keeps you nice and matte, and just look gorgeous on the skin. So everybody knows about banana powder, but... Okay, so I really hope I'm still in focus, because I had to stop there for a minute, because the card was full. I've talked too much. Anyways, okay, so this is the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder, new packaging. Excited about that. It's got the little uh, sifter inside, so that doesn't make quite so much of a mess as the other ones do. So yeah, excited about that. Yay, huzzah, moving on. Mountain is growing. All right, um, 
I went to Purple Store. Where are you? Oh, it's uh, this was one that had a bunch of special effects stuff. Again, I don't know the name of it. Maybe it has a card in here. Ah, um, you can go to www.backstageshop.co.uk and they sell all kinds of brands like Ben Nye, uh, Bloody Mary, which is uh, Krylon, Temtu, all sorts, Dermacolor. So that's where I went and I got the Ben Nye. This is the Pro FX wheel, uh, cuts and bruises wheel. And I been, basically got it because it's got all the prime colors, so it's good for mixing for all sorts of things on the face. But again, it does work for cuts and bruises and special effects stuff. But I can use it for anything and create any color that I want. And I didn't have anything like this, any, uh, I didn't have all the colors and creams, so I thought that was fun, especially if I want to get into doing, like, special effects and character looks, which I think are a lot of fun, um, this would be a good idea. And this one was, uh, $13.50. I'm not sure how much this one normally goes for, so I don't know if I actually got a good deal on it or not, but it was there, and I got it. So there you go. Moving on. Oh, last but not least. I went to Inglot, which I'm really excited because I have never bought anything from Inglot before. I'm, I only went to Inglot for the first time while I was in London for this iMatch trip. And yeah, that was the first time I'd ever been there. I didn't buy anything that day or when I was there because I knew I was going to uh, buy some at iMatch. So there we go. All right, um, let's kind of, here's my receipt. Whee! Let's go through these. All right, um, I bought a face powder. This one's for me. The other one, the banana powder is uh, more for my kit. This one is for me. Okay, I don't feel like taking it out of the packaging and fighting with that right now. But this is just one of their face pow uh, powders. Theoretically, you would put this into the palette, but I have a different palette I'm going to be putting it into. Um, I don't know what color this one is, if, if anyone was wondering. Okay, well, I got one of their face powders, one that I thought would work for me that wasn't shimmery or anything like that, and I'm going to try it out, and I will let you know what I think. Um, I got a couple of their gel eyeliners, because I've heard people talk about it, and um, talk about them before, but I've never tried them, so I picked up a couple. Oh, this powder, sorry, I should have told you that, the face powder was £5, the gel eyeliners were £7 each. I got two. I got this one, which is in black. I don't know what the exact color is. Oh, they don't do, they do numbers. So this is in 77, which is just a black. Like I said, I've heard that they're really good. And I have a couple black gel liners, but what's, what's wrong with one more? And then I got this one. And they had a bunch, so if I like these, I might get some more in other colors. And um, this was in 90, and it's just a dark brown, because I don't actually have a dark brown uh, gel liner, so... Now I do. So that's exciting. And then I got a whole bunch of eyeshadows. Now the sad thing is, I thought I got eight. I thought I wrote eight down. Yeah, I wrote down eight on my paper. And they gave me seven. They only charged me for seven, so that's good. But now my palette's going to look stupid. <sighs> but these were only three pounds each. And when I went into Inglot before... And I looked at these, they were nine pounds in the store. These were three pounds. That's insane. So really good discount and very exciting. So I'm gonna share them with you once I figure out how to open the box. Come on box. Okay. And again, they're singles. I'll be putting them into uh, the Z palette. So this one is 342 and this is a nice uh, like taupey color that I thought would be really good for in the crease. Nice transition color. I like a nice transition color. I think I talked about that a lot. So they probably put that together. And this one is... Um, I tried to get all matte. I think one is not matte. I don't know what happened with that. I think I was just trying to figure out an eighth and that one got thrown in. Then I only got seven. Anyways, but this is 330. I thought this would make a nice highlight color. It's really close to my skin tone. But just a little brighter. But it's not shimmery. It's matte and... Yeah, I thought that'd make a really nice one. Moving on, this is 339. Oh, I liked this just nice matte gray. I feel like so many grays that I look like look at are really blue or kind of have a purple hue or they're shimmery. It's just a really nice, nice matte gray that kind of matches my little cardigan here. So 
like that. Again, it was all spur of the moment, me going, <laughs> I planned, and I thought I planned enough. I did not. Um, moving on. Oh, this one is 346. Oh, a nice lilac purple. Like I was all about the lilac today, apparently. But I thought that was really pretty, and I like purples. They go really well with my eyes. So, that's pretty. Look how huge these pans are. Can you believe that? Nuts. I believe I didn't go to MAC. I was like, mm, I can get all that stuff. I was all about getting stuff I couldn't get or getting it for a really good price. This one is $1.54. And this is the oddball, I think. It's like the shimmery brown. I mean, it's pretty, and I think it'll look really nice on. It's the one shimmery one I got. It's shine square. But yeah, it's rather pretty. I will put swatches on my blog and on my Facebook page because that would take forever if I sat here and swatched all of these. So if you want to see how any of them look, I will try and swatch like everything in due time. This one is uh, for Re 17. Ooh, this was like add out, but it's this beautiful like teal color. So pretty. I saw it and I was like, that is mermaid. I want mermaid. And I don't know how it's going to look on my eyes, but on someone, I'm going to put this on someone and it's going to be beautiful. True story. Because that is really pretty. And so many people are afraid of color. I used to be afraid of color. You can make color look beautiful. And not like too over the top. Anyways, this is a 329 and this is the last one because I didn't give me the other one, which was like a really pretty red. So now I'm sad. So I really wanted that because I don't have any reds. Anyways, this is a dark, like, chocolate brown. A nice matte dark chocolate brown. And I'm thinking I might try and use this for my brows. I don't know. I'm thinking that might might be pretty. Also, it would make a nice eyeshadow, of course. So, yeah. Anyways, Ken, I'm sorry. I look like such a mess. It's been a really long day. But iMats was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Um, I def definitely recommend, if you've been thinking about going, that you take the plunge and go and have a good time. Um, my husband gets, like, Husband of the Year award for being amazing. And even though he... <laughs> does not care about makeup whatsoever or anything at all like that. He was a real trooper, he followed me around, he carried my bag, he took footage of the shows and of just uh, the booths and everything like that. He would help me, you know, get items because it was so frantic and crazy and he did not complain the whole day and yeah, he was just absolutely amazing. So thank you Matthew, love you. Check out his channel, I'll post it below. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. That is everything I bought. I hope this isn't a really long video, but I have a feeling it is. Sorry. Again, if you want to see swatches of anything, I will put them on my blog and on my Facebook. And if you want to see a review of anything or more about any of this, just let me know. And I'll be happy to do that for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.